Hey everyone, welcome to Palm Tree Life. I'm Tim. Whether you showed up ready to learn how to play a game, wanted to catch the next episode in a series, or check out a new game you're interested in, I'm glad that you chose to show up and take a break at the Oasis. I'd love for you to like and subscribe while you're here. Now let's get into today's video. Well, hey everybody, uh, glad to have you for this uh, series, starting something new. Uh, so I used to, I used to play a lot on What If Sports. I took a uh, several year hiatus and I figured, hey, let's bring it back. Let's do something on the channel with it because uh, I wanted to get back into something with sports. It's changed a little bit, so I am kind of relearning it all, um, but I think it's going to be good. So I just, uh, if you want to know what it is, uh, you probably have never seen it. It's whatifsports.com. I'll actually add my referral link in the description if you want to jump into one of these. I would love for you to use my referral description. But it is a full uh, simulation. This is college basketball, Hoops Dynasty. It's a full, uh, and actually, if you jump in now, it's only a dollar for your first season, which I think is pretty good. Uh, just one dollar. Um, but it, it has like coaching dynamics. So you got depth chart. Uh, we're going to do a lot of this in this episode because I got to set up the team for this season because my first game is going to be simulated overnight. What I'm looking at doing with this series is probably um, putting out maybe one video a week and just catching you up with what happened in the different simulations for that week. And you can follow the team along. If more of you jump in and there's several of us, I'm willing to do more videos, uh, but I just kind of wanted to keep it simple to start out. But you can set your depth chart. You can do a practice plan and add minutes to different areas. You can do a team game plan. So what type of offense and defense? And you obviously have to practice that. There's a player game plan. So like uh, how you want them uh, to play, whether shooting three pointers, who's getting the most opportunities to score, those types of things. You can manage your roster. You've got uh, different jobs to look for. I'm in. I'm in a Division Three, so it's not the NCAA. What do they call it? They, I forget what they call it. Um, but it's not the. But it is all the teams. Like you would see a lot of D3, D2, D1 schools in here, which I think is really cool. So I, I chose Elms College. It is so if you just look at it, it's got the info here. It's from Chicopee, Massachusetts. Yeah, that is an actual school there. They're the, called the Blazers. Uh, so. Uh, our home court is a D. D3 doesn't get high home court a lot. It lets you know that you're home and away. You can do, you, it'll show you your coaching record. Mine's zero and zero. We haven't played any games. But you can take you through your um, roster, your team ratings, their IQ, as the stats would happen throughout the year, the game logs, my schedule, recruiting records. So the records for our team. So you can literally see if somebody is getting high on your, uh, like your career list. For different categories the history all those things our current prestige is a that's kind of why i chose this team they're at least at the top end for now uh so looking forward to getting into this so i'm going to start by jumping in let's see we got some mail here so we got our welcome thanks again for accepting our offer i can't tell how, you how excited we are to have you on campus we're really expecting big things from the basketball program with you at the helm by the way the whole campus is now pretty much paperless so we do most of our communicating via email I guess your inbox will be full of correspondence from all of our blue chip recruits. You'll be signing for us, not in D3. I don't think there's going to be much uh, blue chip there. We run the motion offense, man-to-man -man defense. Uh, if you change, yeah, it's, it takes time if you change and all that. I'm not, I don't care about preseason. All, well, let's see. Preseason All-Americans. Let's check those out. Is there anybody? Doesn't look like. I mean, it's not shocking that we wouldn't have anybody on here. But DePaul, that's up by Chicago. I know that one. So you can see lots of different uh, opportunities. Ooh, Tufts. So we play, we actually play Tufts first. So they have a preseason All-American. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. All right. Um, let's get into our practice plan first. And so we've got to get this ready to go. So... Um, how this happens is if it's green, they have high, high potential blue. They have like high potential 
uh, all the way down to like this, uh, like this, is it black? Where is it at? The darkest color. So red obviously is almost not like they have no ability to get better there. So defense, he has high, high ability to get better. So, and he's a freshman. So we want to do our best with this. So GPA, they can get ineligible if they have a lo too low of a GPA. Uh, we don't care about rebounding from a point guard. We don't care about low post. He's not going to do anything there. Passing, he's okay. What I've learned from this is that if it's about seven, that's about average. So I want to go a little bit higher. Uh, the high, high ones I try to put a lot more in. And you can't top out farther than 130. All right, ooh, this guy got a little bit here and there. Ooh, he's got a low GPA too. Can't rebound. We just we're not wasting our points on somebody who can't do it. But he obviously he's coming to the. He's a sophomore, but he doesn't have much to uh, improve on. Let's just give him more GPA because he obviously needs it. Okay, this one's looking good. Not much to roll on here. William Barlow. These guys are set already pretty pretty well. Like there's not a lot to adjust with them. By the way, we're in season like 141 or something. So this th there have been 140 of these seasons simulated. We're coming in obviously late in the history. Um but I like having history and stuff and frankly it doesn't matter for whether or not we're going to play well. It has to do with the players you have right now. So didn't really bother me. Um, I'm looking forward to what we can do while we're in here. A lot of these guys are as developed as they can be. Here we go. Here's Fletcher Pooley. Was his GPA 2.4? And we'll leave it at 8. See if that's enough. Looks pretty good. Not much else to do in here. All right, we'll save all. So there we got our practice plan going. Depth chart, let's set that. Um, we're gonna start from scratch. This was already in here for me. We're just gonna start from scratch. I don't like doing the minutes. I like doing the fatigue. And so uh, durability. Those types of things so first off let's look for our ball handler so kevin smith is our best ball handler and is he our best passer too he is speed wise he's not the greatest um so we might go james bryce kevin smith so let's go kevin smith james bryce Who's my, ooh, Bryce is my best perimeter shooter as well. All right, so it's not ideal to put Kevin Smith here, but we are. We're going to put Bryce here since he's my best three-point shooter. Who's my best defender? Michael Evans, my center. So we'll go Michael Evans. Hoffman is next. We'll go 
often. He's my best low post guy. Julian Harris is a good balance guy, but he's terrible in athleticism and speed. Good ball handler. I guess we'll go Harris here. Goodness. This team has some weirdness to it, so we'll see how we do. Shafter, I think he would work well as my top big Barlow. Man, I think Barlow we're going to put as the two guard and the um, small forward backup. So that's seven guys. Still got one, two, three, four, five. So five more. We don't have to play all of them, but we probably need to have it available here. So William Harris is already out there, Bryce. So Dallas Trainer is going to be my backup point guard. He could develop into something that could be interesting. How that fails. He's probably... Actually, I might switch this here because Smith would be better here. He would be better there. I'm going to put Barlow back here. Oh, he's already. That's fine. There. Barlow. Harris. Smith. Move these guys up. Put Harris as the backup here. Okay. Who am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more. Shafter, Aaron Hoffman, Evans, Raymond Johnson. He's a good defender. Actually, he's really good. Put him here. He's got a lot. Of, he's not a great off guard, but he's got some stuff that I don't know. Either. Fletcher Cooley, just not very good. He's a low post guy. I guess we'll put him here. Nope, wrong guy. Brandon Hall. It's pretty bad. Okay, that's all of them. Save. All right, recruiting. So recruiting is interesting. So you can do a bunch of different things. You do have a budget. So we have three openings this year. We have three seniors. So it lights them up or it highlights them over here to let you know who's going to be gone. You have a scouting budget and then you have a recruiting budget. If you don't use all of your scouting budget, it does go to your your recruiting budget. Um, when you, when you recruit, so you can't see the players until you do some sort of service. Now I already figured this out previously because recruiting has changed a little bit since I played last. So you can do an assistant coach shirt search where you can choose specifically what you want, like a specific type of, uh, position level, uh, if they're new players or further scout ones you already have, how many miles away, and then you can choose how many you can see here to do five though. Is three hundred dollars? That's sixty dollars per recruit that you would look at. In the camps, we were in Massachusetts, so we would do the New York City baller standard because we want the D three players. The elite is the uh, D one players right here. So, and that is about thirty two dollars per player. But if you do the scouting service, 
at the Division Three level, you can we can literally choose all of these Northeast. Now we won't have New York and Pennsylvania like we would if we. And you want to stay within about 300 miles. When you get outside of that in D3, it just costs too much to recruit people. But we can do all of this for 4275, get 285 players, and um, we are looking at about fifteen dollars per recruit so to get the initial one to me this is what makes the most sense uh, so that's what we're going to do is scout those areas and there we go so now we can look at our recruit pool and just do within i'll do 500 miles just in case or just do any why not they give you the top 100 from anywhere but here you can see we got John Kane. So we don't know anything out about him because his scouting level is at one. So we have to keep scouting the other levels to be able to get um, to level four, which actually will show you how much potential they have. I'm not going to do all of that on camera here. Uh, I want to save that time. Let's go into, I'll update you because this recruiting will go throughout the season. Uh, so it's not all happening here. You can see that signings don't even start until July 8th. So I'm not worried about it. We'll see how this goes because uh, we've got several weeks before signings even start. Right now, we're concerned about the games. And so we got our practice plan. Let's look at our team game plan. So we're playing toughs. So when you look at them, they have... So this... Daryl Doherty, he's the preseason All-American. He's an overall rating of 732. So he's very good. Uh, his ball handling, passing, his perimeter, he's, he's speed. Like, he's a very, very good player. Uh, they have a very good perimeter player as well. I don't know if, yeah, we can't see any stats from last year. Nope. Their IQ, so they play motion, man-to-man. -man. Um, they're very good. Like, this is going to be a very difficult team to beat. Just, I mean, it's our first season. This guy here, let's look at history here. This guy has been here a very long time. So since season 123. So like this is his 18th year. He has won a national title. Last year he was in the Sweet 16. The year before he's in the Final Four. This is a good coach with a very good team. In our first season, highly unlikely we're going to beat him. But let's see. Uh, we'll go plus one just because it looks like they do take some. Actually, we can see that if they take shots or not. Let's look at that. So Doherty, uh, does he have? Yeah, here. So totals. So he has attempted about one three-pointer for every three shots he takes. So this guy actually doesn't seem like he... Um, Shoots a lot of threes. Let's look at another player just to make sure. Now, he took more, but he didn't play a lot either. Where's this three-point shooter guy, Bryce Swallow? Let's look at him. So, he takes a lot. So, it just kind of depends. Um, I'm going to play a little... Eh. I'm going to play a little bit out, I guess. We're going to go slow down, though. Maybe if we slow down the tempo, we can keep it close. Uh, but we'll see. As this is going to be a hard game. Uh, probably going 0 for 1 to start the season. All right. Um, recruiting, coaching, our player game plan. This is what we need to do. So we have, we have to decide who is going to be taking the shots for us. So our perimeter guy is James Bryce. Um, Three-pointers, I don't tend to, especially if they're in the 70s or below, which we don't have a lot of three-point guys. So like these guys, we're going minus two. We don't want them taking three-point shots at all. Like don't even think about it. Yeah, none of these guys. Nothing. The only one that I would even consider is uh, Bryce and maybe Kevin Smith. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to go minus one with them. Let's see how that works out for us. Low post, sure. 
Uh, who? Michael Evans is okay. Mark Hoffman. He's a pretty good player. So we're going to probably try to get him the ball quite a bit. Evan Smith. James Bryce. William Harris. Actually, I don't want to go. We're going to go eight with him. All right. So we don't have a lot of scores. Uh, we're going to go two with them. Hall. We'll give him a little bit. We do not have scores, people. We're in trouble. Let's see how it goes. Raymond Johnson, let's see if he can get something. Barlow. Calvin Bales. All right. We'll just roll with that. We'll save it and double team. Do we want to double team anybody? Like it almost seems stupid to even try it, but I'm going to double team. If he's the leading scorer, we'll double team him and we'll double team Dowdy. If they're the leading leading scorer, at least if they're killing us, we can try to stop them. We'll try to do that. So we'll see where it ends up. Uh, I'm going to end this episode right here, um, but I'll keep you updated how the games are going. Uh, I'm, if you want to know a specific aspect of this game, like I'll show more. I'm trying to give you a, a quick overview, but if you want to know more or you want to focus in on specific things, I, I'm glad to show you. Uh, just let me know, and I'll get back to you. But thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.